Are you so embarrassed? <laughs> Brian and welcome to Wrench Fest Garage. Today we're working on the ultimate dent side for coming. So today we got to basically finish up the transmission. It's been kicking my butt for about two weeks. I kind of regret starting on it but hopefully it's going to turn out okay and work. We'll get that buttoned up and then we're going to throw it in the frame of the F450. So let's get after it. So I've got this transmission basically completely put together, but I was a little concerned about a few things, so I didn't put any sealant on it yet. So I'm basically going to crack it back open, reseal it, put it back together, and hopefully she goes back together as it is right now. So everything's working, it's shifting through the gears, everything feels pretty good, so it should be alright. Reseal, then I gotta flip it over and reseal the back. I think at that time I'm gonna throw this actual seal in it. And that's where all the magic is. So we're putting on anaerobic sealer. It's supposed to be good for aluminum to aluminum. I never really used this stuff before. Anyway, we'll give her a go. Bought this at my local car quest over in Nephi, Utah. Thanks, Tim. Oh yeah, that's just like jelly. Hey, that looks beautiful. Ish. Let's flip this over and see what it looks like. On these transmissions, there is a pump in there that has to line up with the counter gear, the counter shaft. So I'm just double checking here, making sure that it's going to go like it should. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna snug up a couple of bolts here so I can flip it over and then pop the back off. We gotta pop the back off to reseal it. And there's also some bolts that go on the inside of the transmission on the back side. So let's throw a couple bolts, we'll flip it. Maybe I'll put four in there just for good measure. Feels like it went together pretty good though. Last time I had to beat this pretty good with a hammer to get it separated. Let's get a little hung up on the dowels. These are the dowels right here. There's one right here, and there's one over here on the other side. And basically that just aligns everything as you're putting it on. And I think it also adds a lot of strength. Okay, so it says uh, 17 foot-pounds on these bolts. I think I'm gonna throw a little Loctite on them just for good measure. A little blue Loctite. Not a huge fan of the red Loctite unless you really, really don't want something to come off. But it would really suck if these came out in the middle of this transmission. Let's see what this feels like. Oh, 
All right, instructions say 17 foot pounds, so we actually did 20. So hopefully that's good. So I'm just gonna throw a little light grease in here for a little bit of a pre-lib on this bearing, just to give it a little bit better head start in life. And then I'm gonna throw a seal in this back case so I don't have to do it after it's on, because there's a, yeah, the shaft will be in the way, everything else, so. We're gonna hurry and throw this seal in, make sure it's the right one. This is the surface that's gonna seal. This will be the output shaft seal. This is where it hooks up to the transfer case. There's way better seal drivers than just grabbing a socket, but uh, it's what I got, so it's what I'm using. Grease this seal up really good so it slips on without any drama. Okay, it's all red. Grab the hand ratchet. See if we can get this thing to slip down. Yeah, you don't ever want to force these cases together because if you got to force them, there's something, something not right. In this case, I think it's just those dials are really tight. Starting to squish out the sealer, so I think, I think we're good. Whoa. Probably pop it on its back to clean up the seal surface, pop it on its so it's flat, and then uh, run through the gears again. Make sure everything's good that way and continue on. So there's a couple of brackets that hold wires or yeah, it's gotta be wires. I don't can't remember where they go. We'll figure it out. We can pull them back out later if we have to and just kind of put them on the side in the center. Yeah. Silly little bracket. Yeah, I'll just save the brackets for later. I may not even need them. Totally different application. So there's like 50 of these little bolts. I guess we're supposed to torque all of them. 17 foot pounds, not super tight, but kind of feel like I'm missing about 50 of the bolts. I feel like this transmission's been sitting on my bench tore apart for like a month now and just kind of been a pain in my side. So I hope everything goes good with it. I do not want to have to go back into this transmission at least not for several thousand miles. So I'm on the lowest setting of my gun. This gun's got like four settings and I'm on the first one, which is hardly any torque at all. Just kind of speeds things up a bit. Okay, torque, 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 torque. So when you're doing these, it's best to like go across from each other best you can. Torque them down even. Then after I get them all torqued, I like to go around in a circle just to make sure I got them all. Because with this many bolts, it's really easy to forget one. Let's lay this back down. I want to double check, make sure everything's spinning good before I waste my time torquing all these bolts down. Actually, just double check here. Actually, what I'm going to do now is put the shifter on. Okay, so I had it neutral to start with, but when I popped that case off and on, it kind of hit one of the shift rails and popped it in, I don't know, maybe first gear? Something like that. Maybe reverse, I don't know. Anyway, it's just easier to put the shifter in when it's in neutral. So now we're in neutral, we're gonna clean it up a little bit, put some sealer on it while I got the anaerobic out, and then go from there. So this is the part of the shifter. So this bolts the top of the transmission and this is what your stick shift ultimately bolts to. Big old, you know, big old stick comes out here.
running out of bolts and parts to put on this thing, so hope that's a good sign. I think it should be neutral. Yep, it's neutral. That's reverse. It's first. Fourth. It's a lot of gears. Okay. Happy with that. Has gears, it spins over, so hopefully that's good enough. We'll see. This giant thing here is like a big detent ball. So like right now, there's no resistance in that shifter at all but there's like a thing back here that uh, has got a bunch of detents on it and this ball rides on it and makes the stiffens the shifter up so we'll throw that in and then there's this i'm gonna assume it's a reverse switch sensor not sure where it goes we'll find it eventually i think oh it goes right here are you so embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> I don't go nowhere. Wanna help me stand this up? One, two, three, go. Oh. <laughs> so this is the surface where the transfer case will mount to. There's a gasket that goes between here, so we'll clean the old gasket off and uh, get it ready for the new one. So this right here is the PTO cover. So we're just gonna clean it up, put a new gasket on it. I think I'll throw just a touch of silicone on there just for a little insurance. Throw it back on. Okay, she's buttoned up. Just gonna stick this gasket on there so I don't forget it. Hopefully this is the right one, it should be. Oh no, that's the right one. Pretty sure that's the only one it came with. Here we go. That kind of fits. Now what? I think it's ready to go on the truck. All right, so this is the piece that the throw up bearing rides on. Um, these need to be super smooth, so I bought a new one. The old one was a little rough, but uh, if they get a little rough, then your throw up bearing tends to catch on them and does weird things with your clutch. It kind of sucks, but so we'll throw a new one on this one. Should be good. This is the new throw up bearing. So when you push in your clutch, ultimately it pushes this fork out in this bearing and this bearing goes on your pressure plate and that's what releases your clutch or engages it. Depends on which way you're going. So I think we got this transmission good to go. We're gonna drag it out there with a the cherry picker and put it on the back of the motor and see how it fits. It's gonna be a little bit of a fight. Well, why wouldn't it be? Just getting it out of this corner here is going to be a fight. All right, this probably ain't the best way to lift up your transmission, but we're going to give this a try. See where, see if we can kind of balance it. This might be a complete disaster. It's not bad. So the problem is we're gonna have to spin this after we get in the truck, so let's try that out and see. Whoops, whoops. Give her a little push. 
Okay, hold on. Give it a couple of jacks up. Okay, that's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, there we go. Professionals. Oh, dude. What? We might have to do a little bit of trimming. So it looks like the new starter bolt is going to hit the old transmission where the old starter used to bolt on. Just barely. So we're trimming a little bit off of there, right there, and that should clear that bolt, no problem. Other than that, it looks like everything else fitting like it should. That blade is not cutting that aluminum very well at all. Woo! Nice. Okay. Let's see if we can get a couple more bolts in it. Snug it down. We should be good. So we got the transmission in, everything went pretty smooth with that. Had to cut off a little piece for the starter bolt where that goes in, but not a big deal, but it seems like it fits perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and do the right thing here. I know nothing about this transfer case. Doesn't appear to have any major leaks. So we're gonna throw it in and hope for the best. Probably do a drain and fill on it and see how she goes and that's about it. I need to come this way a little bit. Come out a little bit. Here, but. Do okay, hold it right there. I'm kind of liking this. This hole here has to line up with this here. And roll it that way. You got her. Kind of what it's supposed to look like. Whoa. Now we're going to throw this cross member in. See how it fits, see if the motor's got to go backwards or forwards, see how straight it's in there. I have no idea how it goes in, but we'll figure it out. I think this is supposed to go right here. So it looks like this motor's got to go forward. We're going to jack this up a little bit, remove the jack stand that's holding it from going down, and then we're going to let it down, bolt the cross member onto the back of the transmission and then lift it up and then try to figure out how it's going to work. Goes on the outside. Yep. Mm, close. It was a boat. Oh, you know what? I got to go on top of the frame. I done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron. Okay. okay, let's start over. <coughs> Sorry, my bad. Let your set down. All right, I'll go up. There we go. That's better. There's like a bolt kind of in the way. Yeah. Like... If we go forward, is it going to fix that problem? Okay, so he went down. Just don't scratch. Okay, now it's not. Now it's still in the way a little bit. Can you see? So there's three bolt holes. Oh, you got to go clear. I think these are your three bolt holes. I have to wait over here. Yeah. Now I'm at a weird angle. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm back. So, let's see. We gotta push this motor forward. It can go forward an inch or so. <clears throat> Kinda. Is it budging? <laughs> That's very heavy. Plan D, Erica. So we got the cross member bolted to the transmission, but the whole thing needs to slide forward about an inch before it'll bolt in. So I'm trying to get the weight off the motor and I'm gonna pry in the back and hopefully it'll slide forward about an inch. I don't know if you remember, these motor mounts have slots in them, so it can slide forward and back. And right now it looks like they're back, bad as far as they can go. So we'll give this a try, see if we can get it to slide up. Rip some. Are we close? No. There we go. That's, that might be it. That slid forward a lot. It looks like it's to the edge of this slot here. That's yeah. How do you look on that where it's got a bolt in? I think I could get these bolts in. Um, probably right there. 
You better, I can't tell. It's not lined up right now. <laughs> I don't know how close <laughs> it is. Okay, which triangle are you? See that one? Okay, up. Yeah, go up, just uh, wait. Yeah, up a little bit. Oh, you're getting close. I okay, can see well, well, that's too much. Down? Yeah. Okay. That's so close. I can see one hole. No, I don't see neither. It's like at an angle. Oh. There you go. You're real close. I don't know if that's going to help. There you go. All right, go ahead and let it down. Oh, it's coming around. More? Yep. He's... A little more. There we go. So pretty big milestone today. We got the Cummins 12 valve sitting in here, the ZF6 and the transfer case. Everything's sitting in the F450 frame. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. There's a little bit of adjustment back and forth. So that's about all we're gonna get done today. On the next video, we're gonna get the cab set on here and try to figure out how it's gonna set with the motor and the frame and everything, try to get some cab mounts worked out on it. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thank you.